and it's actually the first time we're actually in the park again since December when the series starts and a lot of progress has been made since last time we were actually in the park and these walls are just surrounding the entire site there's a lot that's different all the track is completely gone obviously most of the stuff that's happened so far the track has just been removed and it's literally just been sat there since you can just see where the brake run ends um, but we've seen a lot of construction around Subterra which there's a lot of signs that that could be reopening which it, but could be really cool if it would um, they could reopen it to like tie in with all this storyline with like the phalanx um, investigating Nemesis which could all tie in with Nemesis reopening another rebirth of nemesis part four and it's obviously the fourth part of the series uh, of the nemesis construction update and what's different noticeably compared to last time is that they had all the literally all kinds of different walls boarding up the front of the entrance portal for nemesis but now they've opened all that up it's a lot more open space now so there'll probably be a lot more areas as to where we can spot the construction and i've already spot something interesting going on so i'll show that to you now looking here you can just see it's what the corkscrew used to be up there but it's all gone that lift hill is one of the only parts of I remain in that obviously being on the station building and brakes and this just looks it looks so empty like without all the rides most of the ride is 95% of the ride is gone as you can see people down there working preparing it I think at the moment they're working on the concrete footers for the rides like adding in new ones for it it's like um at the first episode i didn't know if i thought like if they're gonna add in new concrete footers or if they're gonna just use the old ones but it seems they're going to like add in new concrete footers for the ride it's going to take quite a few months to do but hopefully we should see some interesting stuff going on but obviously the nemesis crane has actually left the site so we can't see that anymore I mean, this all just looks so very weird. It's, it's just such a barren area without the rides. Wow. So a minute ago, I did just say that the Nemesis crane has left the site, but I was actually wrong about that. It's literally right there now. It's actually lifting something out of the site, but I don't know what. So I'm gonna check it out what it is. Oh my word. You just see it there. It's removing something from the site. I don't know what and wow there's, there's a lot this, this place like loads of scaffolding because I'm pretty sure yeah this is where all that like the helix used to be wow you can just see the layout of where it once was around here and we'll just see we'll watch that crane with patience as to what it's going to do wow it seems to be putting a lot of like effort into like the base of the lift hill don't know why, but like, well, it's all obviously going to do with the construction. But I think the, I think there's people down there just like hooking the, like the the tip of the crane onto whatever it is they're taking out. They might be taking out like parts of the, like the bolts for the like the old footers and in time for new ones. So that, I think that's what the stage of construction they are in now. They're taking out the old footers and replacing it with the new ones. And wow! Oh, it's going back up. We'll probably see in a moment. Where it is lifting. Hope. Has it got. Oh, there's an orange. What is that? What is that? Oh, that might be just part of the crane itself. Oh, no, wait. I think there's something in that. If it's like a skip thing type, I don't know. It might have something in it. Maybe some like 
concrete bolts, the foot, the bolts for the footers. I don't know, but it looks very interesting what they've got up there. And you can just see the crane lifting up. Yeah, it's for a very high altitude now. Wow. So I've, I've probably just seen a piece of Nemesis be removed while it was taking place. That is so cool. Oh my word, this is historic. So here we are at yet another angle and can we see a lot more of what is taking place in the pit and there was quite a few people down there working and obviously there's a lot of scaffolding I'm pretty sure that's where the crane has just been to take something out of the site because I'm pretty sure that's where the footers for the zero G roll used to be and if my theory is correct they may have just taken out some like some of the bolts for the footers in that little orange box and wow this is so crazy. Obviously, I think again now because those scaffolding, I'm pretty sure that's where the footers for the corkscrew were once, and they're putting a lot of like scaffolding around the areas of where the footers used to be. So that I think that's what the stage of construction that the ride is at. And obviously, adding all, all the new footers is going to take quite a few months. So probably maybe up to like June or July, maybe even longer. And then after that, we might just see a vertical construction, we might see some track and supports arriving on site, hopefully, once all the new footers have been installed, and we might see them placing all the new track in. Wow, this is so cool. So that is it for this episode of the Rebirth of Nemesis, and it's been a very fascinating one to see, because thanks to this crane, we've seen parts of Nemesis actually be removed from the site. And that's something I'd never actually be able to see in person, thought I'd be able to see in person, but I have today and it's been really cool to see. Um, and obviously this obviously this is gonna take place over a course of many months. So part four is not the end. Um, it's gonna take all season this sort of process over, but probably be like maybe a dozen episodes of this series. It's gonna be lots of construction updates each time. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like and subscribe. And comment if you'd like to see the next video. Bye!